Hey everyone, welcome back to Voice in the Desert. My name is Jason, and I'm glad to be bringing you another week of uh, conservative and... Excuse me, sorry, I just had a smoothie. Christian talk radio. Not radio, talk show, podcast, YouTube, talking. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for your support. I noticed I've been getting likes and views and support from other people about my videos and I hope that continues and I just want to say thank you guys for making this all possible by subscribing and liking my videos. So I just want to start off uh, with a few stories. There was a story on Breitbart like uh, a few days ago and it was about a school. I'm not going to name the school. I'm not going to name anybody in this because I don't want to talk about them in a bad way because I don't think that's how Christians should conduct themselves. I believe there's a code of conduct for us, and then we need to follow it. But, uh, there was a school. Okay, they organized a U.S. Colors Day. And it was at a basketball game. So, it's kind of like a blackout at, like, a base or a basketball game. You know what I mean? It was, it was one of those type of deals. And it was going on. And they went to play against the other school. And because the other school, I quote was a diverse student body, as someone said. It was racism. It was pronounced racism. It's the American flag. We're not bad talking anyone else's ethnicity by talking about where we're from. That's like me being from, I'm not gonna say where, and then me bad talking a town that's right next to us. Like, I mean, any, everybody does that in my school anyways. But that, that's not the point. It's like, just because I'm more proud that I'm from whatever town I'm from, that rather than I'm not from the other town, that doesn't make it that I hate them. That's not it's saying. I dislike them because I went to that town school for a while. Went there for a year so I could wrestle. I don't hate them. I like those people. I kind of like those people. There, there were some differences between me and them. Christianity and such. It, it was, they called it racism, and the guy in a Facebook post called it blatant racism, and said that they, he was astounded that people, not, I didn't, I'm obviously paraphrasing this, he said they, they, he was astounded that parents were letting their kids act this way. I'm like, act what way, patriotic? I'm sorry I love my country more than you do, but th that is not racism, okay, it just isn't. Anyways, just recently, in uh, Snoop Dogg's gun con er, lavender video, pulled a gun out on a an actor with makeup on to make him look like uh, Donald Trump. Okay, it seems kind of like a joke, doesn't it? Wrong. There is actually a law about how you're supposed to act to the president and about threats against the president of the United States. And he clearly did not follow them. Now, in the, in the article that I read, uh, Donald Trump was arguing that had it been Obama, Snoop Dogg would have been receiving jail time. And as he said, it was because of a an apparent double standard. Okay, okay, that seems fair enough to say. I mean, obviously... It's probably gotten some backlash because the white guy is saying that there's a double standard towards towards uh, people of color is racist. Or it can be seen as racist by people who call things racist. But, um, anyways, uh, he pulled the gun out on him and he said, Oh, this would have been jail time for him if it were Obama. Like, yes, it would probably would have been and it should be right now there's a law that says if you threaten the president in any way you get at least or at most five years of prison time and you get a gigantic fine or both there should be something going on for Snoop Dogg right now there should either be a gigantic fine or he should be in prison and I should have read that and I should have been able to tell you guys about it if it would have happened but it didn't and uh, interestingly enough, Snoop Dogg has had a history of gun control. Huh. A guy promoting gun control. Talking about, or 
putting in a video that he was going to shoot Trump. Huh. A few years ago, when his uh, album uh, Reincarnation, I Incarnation, yeah, came out, uh, he talked about one of his songs called uh, No Guns Allowed. And I think it was called No Guns Allowed. And uh, he said in an interview that he is not against gun rights. Well, we need to stop all this senseless gun violence. Okay, that, that seems fair enough. However, in 2013, there was actually a hashtag no guns allowed social media campaign that him and uh, Joe Montana were a part of. That was, it, it was called no guns allowed. I'm not saying I'm against guns, but you shouldn't have guns. And that sounds oddly like he's against guns, doesn't it? Well, anyways, his nephew, Ow Wow, Bow Wow, I don't know what kind of name that is, I don't even like this dude as far as I know. His real name is Shad Moss, his uh, Snoop Dogg's uh, uh, nephew, and he put himself in between, uh, I'll just say this, he put himself in between Snoop Dogg's and Trump's conflict, and he was like, yo, dude. Quit talking crap about my uncle before we pimp your wife and make her work for us. Huh. Interesting. That sounds like a threat. I'm pretty sure threats are can meet some legal fines. Or any legality or legal punishment. But nobody's gonna bring that up. Why would they? And that'd be crazy if we did some sort of justice to the people who deserve it. Either, yeah, whatever. I'm not even gonna go there. But, um... Yeah, it's... It's... Stupid. Stupid. I don't even know what it means to pimp someone. What does that mean? That means sexual assault. Apparent sexual assault. Assault. Threat. I'm sorry, I, I'm... Trying to say that. But, um... Just, I mean... Yeah, a bunch of rappers have been talking crap about Trump recently. Many senators, such as Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, have been talking back to them, saying that, and I quote from Marco Rubio, that, okay, not part of it is quote, that jokes about presidential assassins are something to be very careful about. Quotation marks about the very careful part. I'm for. And, it, and it's true. It's true. We shouldn't be making threats against the president. We can't actually take threats against the president, but no one's going to enforce that, and we shouldn't, especially as Christians, because that's not our code of conduct. Okay, we're called to be love. We're called to be the people who show love. Okay, love is patient. Love is kind. Love is uh, not boasting. Love is not envious. Love does not. Or love does not envy. Love does not, is not irritable, love is not resentful, all of that stuff. We're not supposed to be any of that stuff. We're supposed to be patient and kind and loving. That's what God wants us to do. Now, okay. If anybody here is transgender and they're listening, I do not hate you. Okay, I just want to say that. I do not hate you. I will support you, and I will be kind to you, because I think we're supposed to be loving, but I'm not going to agree that you should be transgender. I'm just not going to. And it's because the other day, or f like a month, this month, earlier this month, there was a lady who was attacked in a bathroom by a man. Brutally assaulted. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Cuts, bruises, all of that stuff all over the dude wasn't necessarily transgender, but that's why I'm against transgender bathrooms. Because there could be a guy who goes in, and he could be saying he's transgender, but in reality he's not. And he just wants to get in there and be with the ladies to do bad things. The guy was uh, captured because the lady was, you know, beat him up basically, clawed at his face, punched him. His just locked him into the bathroom so that he couldn't get out until the police arrived and they, they got him. 
he'd been uh, charged with stuff like this before. He has had a long history of criminal activities, and they're getting him for it. I'm really glad that they are. These are the justices that should be done. I'm not saying that all transgenders or people who want to go into the other restroom because they identify with that sex are rapists or what do you call an assaulter. Assault. Assault. An assaultist, we'll call him. An assaultist. I can't think of what it's called right now, I'm sorry. But, um, I, I'm not saying that all of you are like that. Okay, I'm just saying that there could be the people who are like that and could do it, and that's why I'm against it. I'm especially against it because I think God made you who you are because of what you can do. I think he placed you there for a reason, and I think he did what he did with you for a reason. <sighs> I'm not even going to read this article. That one makes me unhappy. That one too. We lost the zone. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you here next week. By the way, I want to start up a weekly Sunday or Saturday or some other time uh, talk about um, just Christianity in general. And basically, the series is going to be about who we should be as Christians. And as I said earlier, we should be loving, we should be kind, we should be patient, we should be all of this stuff. I want to go in depth with it, give you scriptures, give you uh, other facts from commentators that I know and love. And I, I just want you guys to hear that. When I'm thinking about doing that, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Skype. O underscore Junebug. O H underscore J U N E B U G. Junebug. Remember to leave that like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you guys later, whether it be on Sunday or next Friday. I will see you guys then. Peace out.